50 dads who didn't want the damn pet in their lives. Dad logic is one heck of a tricky business. Ask them anything and they are likely to find a way to go about it convincing your mom to pay your rent until you turn 35 is alright, but just try mentioning a pet and you've just served yourself a rant. Cause dads don't wanna see any of those filthy paws in da house until they actually get one. You see, there are a whole bunch of jokes surfing around the internet about just how much dads adore their new pets and how easily they forget that never ever that they swore, like, a day ago. This list, or rather solid evidence, that busted the dads who shouted the loudest but now love their little furballs more than they love their kids. And now, don't try telling your parents that's how it works. Part of the magic is that any dad would ever dare to accept it. Number 1, Dad. We are not feeding that feral cat. Also dad. I set up a heated cat house in the backyard and put a camera so we can make sure she's home safe every night. Number 2 we can't keep it my dad 10 months ago. Number 3 no matter how much I begged, my dad never let me have a pet when I was younger. This is him dragging my cat in a box, which he named the Kitty Express, while making train noises and laughing like a child. Number 4 no dogs will live in my house so I'll make him one. And that's my last word. Number 5 caught him hugging the giant dog he didn't want, he was also singing the dog his own personal song. Number 6 dad went from you're taking him with you when you leave. To are you really gonna take him with you? Number 7 he's only going to be in the way, I'll step on him. Number 8, he never wanted a dog. 4 days after they met, she helped him to recover from a stroke. Number 9, dad. No animal allowed in this house. Also dad. Number 10, he's never been a dog person. Ever. And now my dad takes Yuki sailing and talks to her wherever they go. Number 11 he was a firm opponent of the hairless cat but skin to skin is the best way to connect. Number 12 my dad, 79, went from I don't want that dang cat to carrying her to her room for bed each night. Number 13 it took 3 years to convince him since he's more of a cat person. He finally agreed as long as the pup wasn't allowed on the better furniture. This is now what I wake up to every morning. Number 14 if your dad didn't say we are not keeping the cat and then bond with her and love her the most is he even your dad? Number 15, my dad. I don't want dogs in this house. Also my dad. Number 16, that brown dog became brown dog became, Mr. Brown became, Doc Brown wants to stay with me when you move out. Doc Brown did move out with us, this is their first reunion after about 6 months. Number 17 Dad I don't want a dog. Also Dad Gaston need his own bed and night table. Number 18 My grumpy dad when he holds up the cat so she can look out the window. Number 19 My dad dressed the dog he didn't want in my childhood dress he kept for his first granddaughter. Number 20 I wasn't keen on getting cats I can't even pet them, I now watch videos for cats with Luna at least once a day. Number 21, my dad. Can we return it if we keep it, it can't go on the furniture and I want nothing to do with it. My dad, out loud, more days later. Let's move this pillow to give you more room. Are you comfy? Do you want some pets? Let's read together. Number 22, my father, who used to hate cats, and Linus, my cat. Number 23, my dad said no dogs ever again after our last one passed several years ago. My mom has always wanted a Dachshund, but they both agreed to wait until retirement. But he recently realized that life is too short not to try to make her smile every day. Number 24 Hubs was never a cat person. Now he tells me how they individually like to be pet, and they all behave and don't fight when sitting by daddy. I don't know who trained who. Number 25 Dad didn't want a dog. Dad and the dog. Number 26 My dad didn't want a dog. I watched him cry at the shelter when this guy sat on his lap. I knew it was all over. Welcome home beanie. Number 27 In 7 months we've progressed from we're not getting a dog. Period. To this. Number 28 My dad who didn't want a cat showing Lucas every item of the weekly shop because he wants to see what we've got. Number 29 My husband, the lifelong cat hater. He found Crookshanks abandoned on a job and offered some token resistance when I wanted to bring him home. Six months in and while they've been tight since day one, he often remarks that Crook is the weirdest dog he's ever had. Number 30 My dad complains the tree must lays in his lap anytime he sits down. This is the smile I got after saying how jealous I am. Number 31 I'm a cat person, he said. Now, where's Penny? I need Penny. I can't sleep without my doggy. Number 32 My dad after he said keep the damn cat off the bed. 
Number 33, my dad. No, we're not getting another dog also my dad. Number 34 my boyfriend who thought all cats were evil is now doing indoor rock climbing to reach her. Why? Cause he wanted to kiss her forehead.